I, I lived on a remote farm in the highlands of Rhodesia. My father was a, a, a fighter pilot during the uh, Second World War. And our house was full of books on all sorts of uh, flying stories. And I read those a lot. We didn't have a television. And I lived on a farm and um, I guess was very, very, at a very early age attracted to the idea of three-dimensional freedom. Uh, the Red Bull Air Race is rather like uh, taking aeroplanes through a slalom course, as you see downhill skiing. Uh, a series of inflated air gates which uh, make a track about, uh, with the airplanes flying about 30 uh, feet or so above the ground. Um, and it's uh, the ultimate motorsport man, machine and clock. The, the gates are coming at you one every three to four seconds. Uh, there's a lot going on. You're not thinking about your flying, your, the movement of the control so much, but you certainly have to stay ahead of the aeroplane uh, in order to, to get the right lines. And um, if, you, if you have even a momentary lapse of con concentration, you'll miss your lines and you'll, you'll lose a huge amount of time. The winter modification programs for the 2010 season, I think, will be pretty similar for most teams, which is a huge emphasis on power, because once each team has got their weight down to the minimum weight, the next big um, focal point is power. So we've got a new engine, which is a Barrett engine, and I'm hoping that that's going to be delivering more power than uh, last year's engine. We've also done a little bit on cooling drag, the cowling area, and uh, the big thing which you can probably see in the background is the, the winglets, which uh, we hope will have some effect in the, on the track. Uh, these winglets have taken, it's an eight, been an 18 month project. Uh, we first started uh, having them designed and looking into the feasibility in late 2008. And uh, it's a long road to get something from a, a design concept through the, all the processes into operation. Yeah, I mean, fluid dynamics tells us and science tells us that they should have an effect on reducing the induced drag, which is what it's all about. The air race started off with very stock aeroplanes, which came from uh, specifically from unlimited aerobatics, because that's where you needed to start for the agility and the strength. Um, and, uh, and then you need to adapt them for speed. And then what, what uh, I think everyone is doing is you j just look at the various uh, aspects of air racing and you try to come up with solutions which uh, will just give you a competitive edge. I, I, I've got the, I guess at the moment, I've got the, the only one with these kind of radical winglets. It won't be long if they're successful. I'm sure lots of other teams will follow it. We've got a great calendar this year. Um, Abu Dhabi is, is, a, is a great place to start. Perth is a wonderful favorite. It's a, it's a good track. Rio is, a, you know, it's a, we missed a couple of years there at 2008 and 9. So everyone's very much looking forward to being back in uh, Rio. It's a place with a buzz and the crowd are very, very passionate. So that's always a, it makes it more exciting for us. Uh, and then on to Windsor where we had a fantastic reception last year. Uh, looking forward to that. New York. What can you say? That's going to be fantastic. Germany is a new uh, location. Wonderful. Lisbon, fantastic. And, uh, so, and of course Budapest. So we've got a great, uh, great calendar this year. Well, I've, I've, I've never been to New York, so I'm really very much looking forward to that. And I think, uh, you know, judging by the, the interest, every, everyone wants t tickets to New York. Everyone wants to go to New York because it is what it is. I guess it was the same when we were here in London. I would like to think that I've got a chance of winning the championship this year. That's my aim. Um, and I think that uh, first off, it's a matter of seeing what happens in Abu Dhabi. Is the package competitive? And then we've got uh, uh, enough races this year to, to make it a, a strategic challenge. And I, and I hope that uh, winning is possible. You know, I've got no favorites for this year. I just, I'm just looking forward to the first race. I love racing. I don't really care where we race. Um, a track is a track. And actually, once you go through that start gate, you don't see anything else apart from the pylons. So that's what it's all about.